Welcome, Vigor Warriors. Back to another episode of Vigor Warriors 2. I felt I'd do a second one today, focusing on a question we've had uh, from somebody in the audience, a nice comment that my buddy Shab put together. Um, this topic is going to talk about trying to regain your masculinity, your manhood, in these crazy dating scenes and situations we have. So we're going to talk about that today. But first, go ahead and subscribe. <clears throat> Please comment, like this. If you like the channel, we're trying to build and trying to get it to, out to as many people as we can. I know there's a lot of great movements out there. The semen retention movement's a good movement. Uh, MGTOW, a lot of these type of things are out there. Uh, I'm kind of trying to add to it from an older perspective, but also a lot of uh, experience and different type of things that I can kind of share and add to it. But to make you realize that uh, even though in this in society and the in the world and all the media, uh, especially males tend to be put down a lot, uh, that's not the case. And I think there's a lot more power and strength that you have that you don't realize. So the question then becomes: How do you regain <clears throat> your manhood in these crazy, crazy dating times? And my friend Shab once again put together a nice comment talking about. The dating scene has changed, and of course, I'm six years old, so it's a lot different uh, than when I was dating, all kinds of other things, and so I'm not obviously an expert on this at all. But I do teach a lot of classes in communications over the last five, ten years, and I've seen a lot of changes when it comes to how women date, women try to uh, you know, go get along with men, making the first move, all these type of things have changed. And as uh, my friend said, if women are not happy with what they're seeing, then they move on to somebody else. And that usually happens a lot in the 20s up until they get to 30s when they hit the proverbial wall and all of a sudden, um, you know, their attitudes kind of change and they're looking for somebody more secure and maybe somebody to end up marrying and those type of things. But I will tell you this, one of the things that a lot of these young girls tell me is that they cannot find a real man. Now, what's their definition of real man? Well, they can, when it talks about retention and things like that they don't really understand that concept or even communicate that but they can sense it and so I always go back to this whole thing is no matter what your age is and what I found especially with this journey that I'm on is that your strength and there's my kitty cat in the in the back there you can see that kitty cat um, my strength comes from the fact that you're strong internally of strong energy and if, if I was 20, I was 30, I was 40, 60, 70, 80 years old, you're still going to get that. The reason why you are strong as a male is because of reten retention. Your energy is using inside your body and becoming stronger. And people sense that. Men sense that. Women sense that. And they're able to see that all the time. And so as you see that, they're going to be a lot stronger and they understand your strength. So in a dating situation, you're going to see people, you're going to see very strong women, and you're going to see you know, women who really want to make the first move, they want to go ahead and be aggressive, and, and if they don't like what they see, they may move on, okay? But the key is, guys, you have a lot more power than you think, and it's time to kind of get back your masculinity, your manhood in these type of situations, okay? Don't go ahead and be that desperate kind of beta male person who basically is just kind of doing anything. That the person wants because even though that may satisfy the person short term you're going to lose respect for that person that person's going to lose respect for you and you're going to have a relationship that's going to go away really quickly and the same thing with losing energy i've seen so many cases where people come together and they're very intimate at first and all of a sudden they get burnt out and tired and all of a sudden the relationship is over so when it comes to the emotional part, when it comes to the physical part, the intimate part of relationships, remember, you have to go ahead and say, you know, I have this strength, strength of character, strength of, of the energy I have. And that's what is attracting people to me. Do not let people kind of dictate to you any kind of things about the relationship unless you're happy with it. Now, if you're working together with the person and you're mutually happy, great. You find somebody that you really like to be with that's wonderful but don't be in a situation where you're desperate or you feel bad or you losing the control or power you have in that relationship and men you always have relationship powers just like women have their relationship powers you do too 
And one of the things I found out with negotiating and different things over the years and unions and things like that is that you have to be a, you have to not be afraid to leave the table when talking. And that means not be afraid to leave the relationship. And if you're not afraid to leave the relationship, you have more power because you seem not to really care as much. Now, yes, you may care about the relationship, but it's not as important as losing yourself. And men, you cannot lose yourself. Women can't either, but in this case, I'm talking with the men, you cannot lose yourself in a relationship. You cannot get to the point where you're putting the person on a pedestal and you're basically kind of doing anything they want you to do, thinking that it's the right thing because that's what society tells us. But what I have found, it's not the right thing. And what happens is the opposite, and that, pe that women want you to act normal and be a normal person and disagree with them at times and not agree with them and do things and say no, right? And not be afraid to leave the table if you have to. And I think that got, that gathers, uh, garners a lot more respect than doing the opposite. Trying to please people never works in any situation. Being yourself, being the person you can be is the best person you can be. And that comes from retention, and that comes from keeping your seed, your energy inside yourself, so that you can be, become as strong as you can. And those types of things leads to leadership, leads to confidence in you, that your ability to control yourself and not really kind of fall victim of those type of things. Not that people are not going to try to do that with you. Some people meet you meet, men or women, are going to try to manipulate you. There's no doubt about it. But you have to be strong enough to say, okay, I'm going to do what I feel like I should do. Don't let other people dictate to you what you should do. So regain that manhood back using retention, using the confidence. They'll be willing to leave that table, leave the relationship if you have to, to make sure you put your foot down and say, okay, I, I'm the man in this relationship. These things need to happen. Not that you're any better or worse, but that you're using leadership qualities that males have and have been born with. And that comes from retention. That comes from being the man in a situation. And a lot of women expect that, that I have seen and talked to. So hopefully this helps you with the situation. And once again, thank you, Shab, for the question. And once again, the question was how to regain your manhood when it comes to these crazy dating times. Don't change your plan. Keep on your plan. Focus ahead. Others will chase you. And be able to willing to, willing to walk away from the table and stay on your plan. All right, guys. Until next time, we'll talk some more about negotiating and things like that in relationships. Battle on and have a great day.